Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me on this reading. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, please like, comment, subscribe and let me know what you think down below. So today in the press, there has been some more stuff coming out about the African tour regarding Prince Harry and his late Di mother, Princess Diana. So, um, I just thought it was really interesting. I did a reading on Prince Harry's personality um, and it came across I had so many like mummy issues. Um, but he also seems to be like, this was my mother. Uh, and he doesn't, he's, he never includes William in that. So to me, there's something more going on. So I wanted to know why he was channeling Diana in, in the minefield, those iconic photos back in the 90s where Diana's walking through the minefield. I wanted to know why he was like also doing that exact kind of thing. It, it, you know, it, what is he doing? What, what is the end game with this kind, these kind of images? Um, so I'm going to be using the Barbara Walker Tarot and I am using the Calica Calic Cross Spread by Harry, okay? Okay. Right, so at the heart of this is Sorrow, Three of Swords, Heartbreak. We don't really need to explain that, guys. He's still so, so devastated by his mum's passing. I don't think he'll ever get over it. What's crossing him? The hermit. His natural self. So, yeah. Harry's a, Harry's a Virgo and the hermit is the Virgo card regarding it. Um, it also could be somebody who's quite knowledgeable and quite helpful trying to quite helpful quite enlightened person trying to help him with this it's interesting this version of the hermit is carrying like a caduceus which is a see the, see the two serpents it's that kind of image it's um and the ancient sign of healing and medicine so that's quite interesting so I'm just going to lay out the other cards and see where we get. He really has got quite a few issues going with his mum still. So there is a lot of sorrow surrounding the centre and like I said the hermit's crossing it so okay so let me have a look what do we know about this situation princess of swords so there is some kind of subterfuge there is some kind of um, confusion and like aggression and like a younger energy coming out which comes across as somebody who's very passionate and very forthright about his feelings regarding this though a little bit immature he still seems very angry is what the card is saying what's known about strength reversed is he being put up to this is he being undermined in some other way is he being encouraged is he being belittled around this is he being told to do these do do these um <clears throat> these stunts is he being wound up it's a very manipulative card there and you've got here with this one you've got virgo the virgin and leo lion so that's harry and megan as well is there something conflict in the relationship that is going on with this that is creating more sorrow for him it's the picking at the wounds is what i'm getting at so what's leaving the situation? Ooh. Ace of Swords, Doom. This card comes up a lot for things on the internet. <clears throat> now the Ace of Swords in reverse is a very, there's aggression and it comes up a lot for like in Harry and Meghan readings. You can see there, 
the skull with the crown on it, swords, and I would see that swirling mass of um, there as the internet. So there has been some aggressive tactics on the internet regarding all of this. They have been potent and, and turning stories. There is stuff around that, and he's feeling some kind of way because of because of this. He feels like he's been attacked, so he has to attack back. Um, the the Ace of Swords in Reverse, guys. I am telling you. Some of the good stories you hear about them and some of the negative stories are all coming from kind of the same place. They're there to wire you up and get the energy about it. I, and to be honest, there's a few theories why it could be done that. But be very careful of the stories you hear and you listen to and who you listen to. Okay, so the mental health around in this. Oh, good Lord. King of Swords reversed. There's a lot of deceit going on, there's a lot of anger, there's something else going on with this. This is just not a homage to his mom. This is like, there is some trickery around this. And I'm not saying he doesn't feel sorrow and he doesn't feel um, lost. But when you've got this, the King of Swords is like a businessman. The King of Swords is somebody who is like a like highly intelligent lawyer or professor or something like that. But reversed, it's like almost, it's criminal. It's vindictive. It's manipulative. It's vile. It's all the negative things that you can associate with like air signs. It's coldness. He really doesn't like his status. I feel he really doesn't like his position. He resents it. And he's doing everything he can to get away from it. So what's known about the situation, so King of Cups reversed, the, ugh, again, water sign, emotions, a negative relationship with somebody who is a don a, an alpha water sign. Funny enough, I think Prince William's a Cancer and Prince Charles is a Scorpio. Because that's the energy that's surrounding him is, is it also is confusion regarding emotions, things that have been very deep coming to the surface, um, unknowing what 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 emotions come in next. It's a very messed up kind of emotional place to be, but it can also be indicating that there is a there has a relationship has a sour between people who are strong, like. Alpha, alpha water signs and Prince William and Prince Charles there. Interesting. So, what do they hope or fear? Again, I get. I've had this a few times. They've got this illusion card, Eight of Swords. They are feeling deluded. They are feeling a bit lost. They don't want to get. The feeling. The fear is they don't want to get any more lost. They're already feeling in a hell of a state. Hmm. Maybe they're hopeful for some more delusion. Maybe they're hopeful for some more subterfuge. Maybe they're hopeful for some more, for more disinformation out there. Maybe this isn't a fear at all. This is what they want to create, guys. Again, we get this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so what's coming up next? I see again a break in of family relationships and accomplishments. We will be getting like we will be getting information about what they've done, but it will be soured by other things. We will possibly again I've said it before, possibly there will be news of another pregnancy. But it's kind of like negative accomplishments. Maybe it's because of all the delusion. Maybe it's because of all the thing. 
and one on the way out the magician so all of this is heading towards some kind of magical pr move all of this is heading towards the pr move and i really do think with the delusion factors with the king of swords reversed with the sorrow card with the princess of swords with the ace of swords even i really think that they are moving to leave the royal family and they are using all this pr they are using everything that's been feeding into to make have an excuse look the public have bullied me the press have bullied me i cannot do anything right i am leaving and we're having our own foundation now Listen, if they choose to leave the royal family, they mightn't even leave the, need to leave their titles. Look at um, the Duke of Windsor and the D Duchess of Windsor. So that was Wallace, that whole Wallace Simpson affair in the 1930s. They kept their titles. So they could still keep their titles, but they can remove away from it. Wow. Yeah, this has been a recurring theme in my readings. Please be careful with what you read on the internet. Please be careful of what you engage in on the internet because it's all feeding into it. Like, for example, there's so much information about surrounding dolls, okay? It's like, is this a horrible, hateful thing that the, that has been created to make it look oh look they have such a horrible time these people are saying about dolls be very careful guys be very very careful with what you say it's one thing to be critical it's one thing to look at tarot readings for entertainment purposes only allegedly my conspiracy but then it's also one thing for somebody to just to full on full on go at people And I'm guessing there's a lot more to the story and we'll find out because some of this won't be made public because they will say look at these bullies look at this look at that and it will come out in the PR move will come out the magician I'm gonna fix this all for you and they'll get what they want and they will go and live a happy life in America or Africa or wherever the hell they want to be Frogmore Cottage I don't know but they could leave, the, I'm telling you, from what I'm looking at, they're using everything to leave the royal family. Very, very interesting. Okay, guys, um, this is all for entertainment purposes only. If you liked the video, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe. Don't send any hate or anything to anybody I've mentioned in the video. It's just not needed. It's an interesting subject and that it is what it is. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video and take care of yourselves. Bye now.